Greetings, my fine fanatic friends. I'm Mega Fan. That's Fan Girl, and welcome to Game Savvy. Hi, we're back at Kirby. Yeah, today we're back to playing Kirby Plant Robobot. Robobot. No, it's like Robobot. Robobot. Okay, these stuff. All right. This is Rowlet. Yeah. Um, Fan Girl finally finished her Rowlet plushie. The super plushie for Magfest? One of them. Hopefully, I haven't been informed if I got a table yet or not, but hopefully... That yeah, still sucks. <laughs> well, hey. th just the suspense. Uh, let's get started. Yeah. Uh, Onward to a pink adventure! <laughs> Adorable adventure! <laughs> uh, what was... Where were we again? Yeah, here. Area Gigabyte City, whatever it was? No, the, you went to the Rhythm one. Rith rhythm whatever. Rhythm whatever's. Yeah. That's a nice name for a land. And looks like we're going to a casino. Uh-oh. Hi! Don't make me spend anything. I do have a... I do have a gambling problem. <laughs> My luck has always been with the slots. I... The thing is, I always remember to go in with... Go in with why I uh, spend... No, I'm sorry. Well, I'm completely forgetting. Um, I only spend what I go in with. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Uh, usually you spend only like 200 bucks... And only do the slots. Mainly because um, I either break even or make a little bit more money. I've had no, I had absolutely no luck in casinos or anything that involves gambling. My money has gone in less than a minute. That's why I, I, I will only go to Vegas for the pretty colors. <laughs> but aren't you good with uh, blackjack? I like blackjack, but I. More than half the time, I usually lose, so it gets frustrating. And I'm not really the kind of person who knows when to quit while they're ahead. I'm sure we've all had those moments. Now, who we got here? Blocky. You, you think error? You think arrows are gonna stop him? You'll be surprised. Yeah, you're, you're gonna get stoned if you swallow him. I got flat. Everybody must get stoned. Is he like a? Is he like a tink, Womper tink. wind up toy? Oh shit! No, oh, that's not good. That's shit. not good. Oh god, I wasn't expecting this. He is a Whopper cheat knockoff. It is. It's so cute. It would be. Wouldn't it be Yoink. a bit? Yoink. Wouldn't it be a bit more cute if he had the the scary Wampus face? Like, <laughs> like, like, like I'm gonna eat you. Boom. God, it's kind of a picture like this. <laughs> well, I mean, the way they land flat on their face is trying to stop you. Like, I'm gonna eat you. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What's this stone go leave? Oh god. That is a two. Center pocket. Or side pocket, sorry. I wonder. I wanna play more pool. Aha! That does so that's help. why it helped. And getting stoned helps you deal with the balls. <laughs> There's a sexual joke in there. <laughs> I wonder what made you think that. I'm watching it. We're playing it on the big screen. That's why I'm watching it here, and he's watching down there. I got a new 55-inch uh, TV. It's very good. What? What? Nope. Ah, shit. <laughs> it is nice and... Yoy! Whoa. Was that an uppercut? Yes, that was an uppercut. Oh, almost gotcha. <laughs> almost had me. Yoink. Pretty, smelly pretty flowers. Oh, he was just sleeping. Come on. That was not that was not nice. What do you think Kirby's made out of? Um, I want to say Do you think he's a marshmallow or Okay, okay. I've had my theories about. It. I've actually wrote a story about this. Really? Yeah, okay. It I was I would run while you're telling the story. Okay, this was in my um one of my literature classes in Bridgewater. I made a story where some guy was um trying to stop a black hole it's like some kind of a god I, I i forgot the details of it really but what he did was he grabbed all these different clouds of the universe and packed them around the black hole and uh react some kind of reaction happened and it just created kirby i bet people were very entertained and overwhelmed by your kirby theory um, I did get an A plus for that story. I can tell you that. And Science. Ma and made my teacher research who Kirby was. 
Oh, I was gonna say, he probably got you the A+, plus because he's a gamer. <laughs> I guess not. It got it got her curious enough to to research Kirby, I can tell you that. And it's gotta be hard, like, as a teacher, it's gotta be hard when people use references that they don't know. Because most of them, I mean, obviously I haven't been to school in a while, I graduated a long time ago. Oh, so those are the days. I don't know... Oh, hey, get back here! Give me the mic. I don't know what kind of references teachers go by or if they still quote unquote go by the book or anything like that. Because I got I have a couple of friends who are teachers and it's it's all completely different from when we were kids. Ah, that wasn't an item. Yeah, things have really changed lately. The only references look at is whatever is the latest craze for that age, the particular age of what they're teaching. But honestly, I wish. I wish school taught more real-life things. You know what I mean? You farted. Yes, it did. You shook the couch. That's uh, gross. I mean... I mean, if school taught... <laughs> if school taught just stuff like... How to... How to uh, buy a house or pay mortgage land, or... Land on seven black! Get me a winner! Land on seven black! There's no numbers! <laughs> yeah. What I mean... Oh, jeez. We're going all Indiana Jones here. Yeah. I mean, can you remember the last time something in school actually helped you in real life? Well, math is kind of important. Not it algebra. Help me survive retail. Well, no. I mean, simple math. Uh, kindergarten stuff, that, that'll that help you out. But stuff like in high school. I, I only remember one small <coughs> class where it taught me how to do a resume. And that was actually helpful. No, I remember that too. That was actually oh. very helpful. I actually... It's what taught me to calculate exactly what, how much uh, of a salary I would need to live off of what I wanted to live off of. Exactly. That's the kind of stuff that you need. Yeah. That's fun. I wish they had more like business courses, things like that. That would yeah. be helpful. Oh, look at you, baby. Shink, shink, shink. Oh, you know, oh. have have we discussed this before that he was like uh, wasabi? Uh, I'm sorry. You know Wasabi from uh, Big Hero 6? He had those blades. Oh, oh yeah, I do remember that. Uh, talk to the hand. Was slap in the face. Wasabi. You know, talk to the hand because I'm going to bitch slap your face. Yoink. Ooh, sci-fi. Now, is that his eye visors or is that a really long purple nose? That looks like a Cyclops visor. <laughs> Ah, shit! If I get a close enough look, I can't tell on that little screen there, actually. Ah, damn it. I should probably wait till they move. Oh, you can knock them out. I forgot. <laughs> Aha! I want to picture it as a purple nose, like, Hey, guys, what's up? He's he's at the giant robot convention, and he meets all his friends, like, Hey, guys, look look at my nose job! And, and everyone's all like, Don't, don't say it, don't say it, Mark, don't say it! Say it, say it. Hey, man, that, that looks great. Yeah, yeah. You, you really got something going on there for you. Are there, any, are there any mirrors around here? It, it really brings out the character in your face. <laughs> and then I, and then one of us will be walking up and be like, dude, who the hell punched you? Don't don't worry. The, the savvies know what to say. Dude, what the hell happened to you? <laughs> Let me get the war on your face. Hey, you want an ice pack for that? Did you just fall? Did you get into a <coughs> fight, man? Your nose is swollen and purple. Chicken! It's a pitch. It's a chicken! It's a pitch, 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 pitch. Oh, and that's from uh, Kirby Dream Course. Look, look at them grumps. <laughs> <laughs> face to face. <laughs> How long can he stand on his tippy toe like that? Pretty long, apparently. And next route. Eight time. Ooh, cutting. I have I have learned that if you get into the habit of walking on your tippy toes without high heels, it really does work the muscles on your calves. I've done it before. I I mean I've tried it. My job involves standing, a lot of standing for eight hours. So once in a while I'll do like 
leg exercises like I'll push up and down with my tippy toes and work those calves and then uh, do 100 squats and sadly not a 10 kilometer run because I gotta work. Oh wow. Okay, what was the point of those stairs if that star was right there to push me all the way up to the stairs? I don't know. It's like having an elevator that only goes up. Ah! What the hell? What is the point of this floor? Uh, it's a trap? Oh, you got the splooge head. Ah! And you lost it. And you got it. Gotta give me that splooge. Serpent the splooge! Splurge in USA. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? I do not know. It's a helmet with an eye. Poof. I wonder what that does. It's like, poof. Ow! Damn it. I wonder why they made ninjas so colorful. Well, that's better I've than... Had, I've actually learned through the history books that they don't dress in black, actually. They dress more... Casual? Yeah. Um, more natural colors like blue and green and whatever helps them blend in. Huh. You know, j just simply, oh, oh, okay. uh, just simply black apparently is not historically accurate. And neither is <laughs> as much as we love Naruto. Neither is bright orange. Right. Oh, that's top, uh, left, top, right, middle. Left, top, right, middle. Right. Left, top, right, middle. Left, top, yeah. right, middle. Uh, left, top, right, middle. Left, top, right, middle. Yeah, Naruto is kind of. It's kind of a poor excuse for a ninja, and yet at the end of the show, he basically becomes a god. Oh, and of, right oh, and of course, right middle. and of course, Sasuke has to get the Sharing gun and the Rene gun, Rene gun at the same time. And the Tommy gun and the shotgun and the the Gatling and the spit, gun, the spit and the gun. spit gun, and the pea gun, and the pop gun. A giant eyeball. You got a little hair in your eye. <laughs> or is that like a big oh, eyelash? Oh. oh, I can go backwards. King Doo. Ow! Mr. King Doo Doo. I got some. Poof! Why don't you take a doo doo? <laughs> that was fast. You are surprised? Joker's on the loose. Ding and ding and ding and ding and ding. Up we go. Left, top, right, middle. Left, top, right, middle. Left top, right, middle. Bam! Left top, right, middle. Left top, right, middle. Alright, I got it, I got it. P. Sherman 42 while we waste Sydney. P. Sherman 42 while we waste Sydney. Oh, look how happy he is. Yeah, Poppy, Poppy, Poppy. That'd be, wait, that'd be a nice cosplay for us. What, Poppy Bros? Yeah, the Poppy Bros. Hmm. There's a thought. Oh, the Shining Knight would be interesting for maybe a practice for the Warbler. I have yet to work on. Warble. I was told it was a fascinating thing to work with it when it comes to making armor and accessories, but I've never been really good with that. Oh, you got the stoner! You got the stoner Watch bot. Out. Watch out! I call him stoner bot. Stony. Oh. Oh, it's that guy again. It's a little cutie UFO. I want to make a plushie of that. Aha. What's the name? Dubior? Yep. Bam! Is that how you pronounce it? Now he's called Debior. Dedior. Aww. Ah. These are prescription glasses. Stop yelling at me. All right. Uh, maybe it was middle. Left oh, top, right, middle. Oh. Left top, right, middle. Oh, there is, is no one? middle. Nope. Now it is. There it is. Well, that throws you off a bit. Yep. How does he grab? Oh, okay. He switches hands. Okay. I think he's got multiple things. Ta -da. Capable of many things, but only does a few things. Indeed. Ah! I'm surprised they've made a series out of this. Actually, they have. Have they? Did I miss it? Um, Kirby, right back at you. You remember that one? No, I don't. It was it was back when that uh, Fox Box first showed up. Remember that? Oh. So yeah, it was terrible. Oh, I, I well, I remember the I remember the first Kirby series that showed up on Fox that was terrible. I think that's the one you were thinking of. Really? I'm I'm talking I'm talking about a series with him and the robot, kind of like a maybe a Gundam parody of some kind. Kirby in the, actually in the robot before all this. 
who knows? Like maybe some maybe some genius animators out there will get an idea, like have a Gundam Wing series, and then suddenly they get saved by Kirby, and they're like, "What the hell?" Or maybe Voltron. Ooh, there you go. Speaking of which, that that new Voltron series is awesome. Yes, it is. Uh, I agree. For any of you, for those of you who don't know, it's uh, Voltron, uh, Defender of Defender of the Universe. What something like that? Maybe Voltron that's... Defenders. It it's the latest. Voltron incarnate. Fart again. Yes, I did. Stop shaking the couch. It's the latest Voltron incarnate. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's the latest Voltron incarnation, <coughs> and it's made by the same people who did... Um, the same animators did, who did Avatar, Last Airbender. Yep. It's really good it and beautiful. Is. It is. I've, I've been meaning to give, like, random anime shout-outs since yep. I've finally been getting back into watching some. That's actually not a bad thing we could add uh, to, like, snap... No, Instagram and all that. Just really quick videos talking about stuff that we like. Yeah, because I really don't have the intel... I, I can't really... I don't do a lot of reviews, per se, because I can't really speak about things on an intelligent level. Same here. Like, I... Like, I, I watch I, it because I like it. Exactly. I'll be like... The, people will be like, Oh, what did you think of this series? Be like, I liked it. It was pretty. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say, really. I can't spend a half an hour saying why I liked it unless it... Eh, you know. The animation's nice. I like this character. She's got big boobies. Psst. Enough of the big boobies. Oh, God. Speaking of which, have you heard about the, that Keijo anime that came out? No. It's an anime. Okay, this is good. This is good. Uh, it's it's an got boobs. <laughs> it's an anime where... um, Do you know that, that kind of pool sport where... Free. Uh, no. It, That's the first thing you think of boys in a swimming pool free. No, it's girls this time around. Oh boy. Do you know that do you know that game where you stand on this uh, little water plat water platform and women try to push each other off of their butts? Yeah, I think so. Well, this is an entire sport out of it. Oh, what what is up with all of the sports animes lately? I don't know. It's become the latest crave. Because there's one involving uh, tennis that's going on. Like, not uh, Prince of Tennis. There was a different one that's going on. Haikyuu, there's, right? There was one that's... No, it was called Days, I think. What? And there was, uh, there was one that involves volleyball that just finished, I think. And a new and, one uh, out about um, bike riding? Figure skating. I think there was one about figure skating that happened lately. Don't remember that one. Or at least skating in general. But uh. there's been a lot going on lately. I remember when everybody was crazy about Prince of Tennis, but there wasn't a lot of sports animes at the time. And then all of a sudden, boom, sports, basketball, volleyball, soccer, another soccer, another tennis. I know, right? It's ridiculous. Well, not ridiculous. It's just it's just weird how all of a sudden this certain genre just poofs out of nowhere. It's like it's like when Backstreet Boys and NSYNC came out and became super popular. All of a sudden you got, you got O-Town, you got LFO, you got... There's endless list uh, of 90 boy degrees. bands. 90 degrees. You got endless list of boy bands that all came at the same time. It's like And never lasted. Like, boing, 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 boing. All right. Anyways, why don't we continue with this discussion in the next episode, shall we? Yeah, did we talk anything about this game at all? Except for maybe the origin of Kirby and what he's made of. Uh, yeah, but we had a good conversation. Oh, that's what matters. You know what would be interesting? Why? You know the tingly feeling when your butt falls asleep? Yes. What if he was made of that? <laughs> All right, anyway. Next episode. Anyways, thank you for watching, and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out all the content we have here on our Fan Savvy channel. Until the next episode, this is Becca Fan. And Rowlet and Fangirl. Reminding you to stay, to stay savvy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Pet the Rowlet. Pet the Rowlet. Pet the Rowlet. You're being my starter, baby. <laughs>